I've been keeping bees for just over uh, 10 years and I've always had a fairly bad reaction to stings. I've been stung uh, hundreds of times but about three years ago the reaction started getting pretty bad so at that point I went and I saw uh, my allergist and they started giving me venom injections. They ran some allergy tests. Turns out I was allergic to bees. So you can keep bees and have a bee allergy, uh, but you definitely want to get uh, checked on with the allergist and you want to have uh, venom, regular venom injections. So the way that works is you go in, uh, the, the build up process is the, the most time consuming. You have to go in, uh, every week and they build you up from just a tiny amount of venom to the equivalent of several stings worth of bee venom. Once you're at the full dosage then you get spaced out a little bit more so that you don't have to go in as frequently. Uh, I've been getting shots for about three or three years I think now and I only have to go in every two months. Um, after you get your shot, you sit around the office for a half hour, so it's a good opportunity to read a book or do something like that. So I get two shots every time I go to the allergist. One is for honeybee venom and the other is for mixed vespid, which is kind of like a cocktail of sorts of different wasps, yellow jackets, whatever. Uh, that's the Vespid, that family. Okay. Sorry. Don't yell at me either. I never yell. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> gel or no gel? No gel. I am a lot more careful now when I'm working with the bees. I. Uh, wear gloves most of the time and I have my head veil on so that I'm not getting stung in the face as much. Um, back in the day perhaps I did some things that were kind of not that responsible. Uh, so ah. oh. Right on my forehead. Yeah. Take your zombie and you just sting yourself right on the arm with it. Squeeze it and then the stinger will come right out. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. Um, yeah. And I have been stung a fair number of times since I started getting the shots and the reaction has not been uh, anywhere near as bad as it was starting to get. Um, so yeah, it's working. So I do have an EpiPen now just in case I have a bad reaction. I can stab myself in the leg with it and buy some time till I get to the emergency room. Um, I've had to take Benadryl, I think I had to take Benadryl once. It's uh, always a great idea to have some Benadryl around anyway, even if you're not uh, highly allergic, somebody else might have uh, an allergy and that is a great antihistamine that'll, you know, just help you deal with the reaction a little bit. So the one uh, sting that did it when I decided I should probably go get checked out. I got stung on the back of my shoulder, back of my neck, and uh, I started swelling up in my face area and uh, getting hives and uh, just this, I didn't have any real breathing issues, but there was this feeling of impending doom. My, my wife likes to laugh when I say that, but it's true, I felt like, I don't know, like this is it. 
So ever since then, I decided I'd go to the allergist, get my shots, and as long as you can stay on track there, you should be good to go. You can still keep bees and have a bee allergy, probably. So there it is. Hope this is uh, informative and enjoyable to watch. Have a great day.